So first I took my Queen Eleanor head and I cut off all her hair because even though I had conditioned it so many times it was still just a knotted mess. And then I pulled all her hair out and cleaned her face off. I used tweezers to pull all of her hair out and used acetone to clean her face off. So here I am like oh my god I wish I had an androgynous body for this head because this head is reading more male to me than female or like androgynous or something. So today I go to the thrift store and look what I find. The perfect, just the perfect body for her. Now unfortunately this body someone has like teethed on it. Someone or some animal or something has teethed on these hands. So I'm going to have to figure out how to replace them. I do have replacement hands. Um, so we're going to do that real quick, and then we'll continue working on this doll head. So I used my X-Acto knife to separate the old chewed up arms from the body. I did it where the plastic met the fabric because I thought that would be the best place to conceal that they'd been cut off. Then I took my duplicate Barbie arms, and I used my X-Acto knife to cut them to the same length as the original hands, or at least about as close as I could get them. They did take a little bit of finagling to get them perfectly the same length. So I popped the head off while the hot glue gun was heating up, and of course this didn't heat up at all. I will be right back when um, I hot glue her arms on. Alright, sorry about that. I had to hot glue it off camera because my surge bar over here, for whatever reason, isn't working. I need a new one. So I'm going to cut the anchor off right now. I do not like the anchors on Barbie, so I cut them off. I know some people choose to leave them on. I choose to remove them because I hate them a lot. So here are the new arms. Oh, so fancy. Next to the old chewed up gross arms. So these can go be thrown away. In my previous video, I went into detail about how I made this face. So I will link that video down below. Here I am with the doll that I'm currently working on and my creepy clown friends. My creepy clown friends are dolls that I have been playing with since I was a kid. And this face that I just finished painting reminds me a lot of these, but kind of like in my modern style. So, um, and I love these guys. Like, I played with these guys a lot as a kid. Probably to the surprise of no one that the creepy girl who makes creepy dolls likes creepy clowns. This one I've had to repair the hat of with some lace. And the reason why I had to do that is these were up in my attic for a little bit. Like I had I had thought that they had been thrown out, but apparently someone shoved them up in the attic and I didn't know. And a mouse had gotten into the box and had chewed some of these up. So this one is the one that got the worst amount of damage. And yes, I did clean them after that. And so because of that, I'm thinking I'm going to sacrifice this one to the clown gods and refurbish this doll kind of from these clothes. So thank you very much for your sacrifice, little clown baby. Your sacrifice will be noted when creepy serial killer clowns are halted from stabbing our local children. Finally got my hot glue gun to work over here. Um, so I have this uh, cut up troll doll hair. Because of how her face turned out, I'm going to hot glue some rainbow hair onto her. I hot glued the rainbow hair onto her existing hairline, one going kind of horizontal and one going straight down. I hot glued the hat on top of the hair as well. So I finally have use for these crazy bell-bottom Bratz pants. I had to wrestle that on. Then I decided she's getting this orange hoodie. So now I'm actually going to put on the actual clown outfit. I feel like this uh, is really ugly and clashes. So that's perfect. I just kind of wanted her to be ridiculous looking. So for the back here, since this was the uh, damaged part, I decided I'm just going to fold this over. And I have two safety pins. There you go. And the body is done. So I'm going to use this lace. I'm just going to glue it along the elastic to cover it up. Now we just go pop the head on. So uh, 
So I may have acquired a clown infestation due to summoning the clown goddess. I uh, may have to rethink my life decisions. But because this clown did sacrifice their little clown life for the good of summoning the clown goddess, we will be uh, refurbishing baby clown here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually fix this little clown guy up as well. There has been a lot of damage to the body due to a mouse. Um, so let's, let's see how these heads are attached. Now I have this clown head. And uh, I'm going to touch this clown head up. I think this body, um, I don't really want to salvage it. I mean, how can you blame me? So this body, I'm probably just going to burn. But, um, uh, but that'll be good because that will also probably ward off any clown serial killers to protect the children. So I will do that. I'll have a proper seance and everything. Anyway, um, so this clown head, I am going to touch this clown head up. I uh, think I'm going to get my acetone out and go from there. So I'm just going to paint right on this um, this head. It already has a glaze on it. You can tell because the bottom down here inside the head, this is matte and outside of the head is shiny. So this is kiln glazed. So I feel fine with just painting over it with acrylics. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to start with the red clown nose. So I want to keep the face cute, so I'm going to do little tiny eyes. There, there you go, some nice yellow. Yellow's a happy color, right? We're going to do some eyeliner. Oh, there we go. Very pretty. Let's see if I can do it on the other eye. There we go. That's very pretty eyeliner. Just some normal brown eyes. No big deal. There we go. Those are just really normal looking. But I feel like they are a little plain, so I'm going to go in with a little more red. Just to add a little more detail to the nice brown eyes. Just adds that little bit of color so it's not so flat. So I'm going for a more realistic look with this doll. I'm not going to do the pupils that big. There we go. Very subtle. So I want to make this doll a little different. You know, I like to decorate up all my dolls. There we go, some like under eye decoration. I think I want to do like some fancy eyebrows. You guys know me, I love to do really pretty eyebrows. There we go, like really crazy big trendy eyebrows. Now I just gotta do that to the other eye. I hope I can get it even. And if not, then I guess it's no big deal. There's no really such thing as mistakes, only happy accidents, right? Cute. Okay. Mm, I feel like they're a little plain, though. Um, I feel like I want to go really avant-garde with the eyebrows. So I'm going to add a few more just, like, random decorations. Just, like, random symbols. No biggie. I feel like I want these eyebrows to be a little bit fancier. You know me. I love, like, big, thick eyebrows. And since we're going so avant-garde with this... I feel like it's fine to do like a really big thick eyebrow. So I'm just going to kind of do another symbol over here. There we go. Just like a random design. I think what I want to do next is focus on the mouth. So I think I'm going to start with pretty red lipstick. Hopefully this clown isn't too pretty. Now, because of the bold look of this makeup, I'm going to go really bold with the blush. Normally I would bring out like my watercolor crayons for the blush, but for this one, I feel like I want to do cute little dots. I mean, it is a clown after all. Let's do the cute little dot blush. Yeah. Instagram girl realness going on here. Okay. I feel like I'm going to go back to this happy yellow color. Since we went so avant-garde with the eyebrows, I feel like I'm going to go a little avant-garde with the mouth again gonna go back to the sunny happy color what i'm gonna do next is some i don't know some design on the mouth like lip art yeah let's do like some lip art there we go some nice sort of depth to the lips so they have a nice sort of uh ombre effect so look at that pretty ombre 
All right. So I feel like that might be a little bit plain, but I kind of really like it. And I think I'm just going to leave that alone. It, I feel like it fits in with my other little clowns pretty well. So uh, I'm going to try and figure out what the heck I'm going to do for this little guy's body. I'll be right back. So I have this little body and I'm going to hot glue this head onto this body real quick. And this dress is going to go on now. So here is Clown God, and I have decided that this is going to be a boy, and I decided that Clown God needs some hair. So I have this little bit of yarn, and this is literally all I have of this yarn, but I feel like this is just absolutely perfect. So I'm going to make Clown God a wig, just like how I normally make wigs with tulle and some techie glue and yarn. So this is Clown God and Clown Goddess. Their jobs are to pester the living and cause frighten those who oppose them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that hot clown action. Oh yeah, I have an army. Don't ask me, I don't know. Why why would you do this? Um, that's a good question. I'm going to go display these clowns with my other clowns. Uh, if you want to see more weird stuff that I do, you can um, like, subscribe, or whatever.